Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Well, how'd it go? Any results, a good result. Time to work you into shape. Skill. Can't let this power go unused. A new power is now being mine. Hope this is good for something. Time to work you into shape. Can't wait to see how you do. with the mountain of books. Wait, please don't tell me you're planning to use them in your training somehow. What kind of guy do you think I am? They're books. I'm gonna read them. Read? A, a book? You? Did you eat something weird? Come on, you sound just like Linhart. I've torn through books before. Sometimes even two or three whole chapters a day. Please don't use the word torn when it comes to books. You're going to make my heart stop. And books are divided into chapters, not chappers. Oh, Caspar, promise me you won't hurt those books. You don't have to worry, Dorothea. I realized something the other day. A person who's responsible for troops can't rely on physical strength alone. You probably wouldn't guess it from how my father looks, but he's pretty good about that stuff. 
Can't say I'm shocked that the Empire's Minister of Military Affairs has read the occasional book. Speaking of, you may have heard this story before, but I'm going to tell it anyway. Back during the War of the Eagle and Lion, there was an Imperial General named Francis who was quite proud of his strength. But while he was indeed strong, he was unlearned, and so everyone looked down on him. Why do I feel like this story is going to make me feel like an idiot? Just listen. The Emperor at the time gave Francis an order to study, and said that if he didn't, he wouldn't be allowed to lead anyone in battle. Francis did as his Emperor ordered, and studied as though his life depended on it, growing especially talented in the area of tactics and strategy. As a result, his deeds on the battlefield were great, and he eventually rose to the rank of Minister of Military Affairs. So I should take a page out of Francis's book, right? So long as you don't mean literally, yes. Incidentally, the words the Emperor used to praise Francis were memorable enough to have survived even to this day. With the passing of five sunrises and five sunsets, even the meanest soldier may burgeon into a peerless commander. It means if you study hard for five days, even a common soldier can become a great general who commands an entire army. Five days? That's nowhere near enough time. It'd take me five days just to read one book. You gotta at least give me until the end of the war. But by that point, won't your chances to distinguish yourself in battle have already passed? Oh, you're right. What am I gonna do, Dorothea? Well, I suppose I have no choice but to help you. Who knows? I might even learn something. You're the best! Thank you! For Her Majesty. Who, me? Fine. What's the plan?
Follow my lead. So long as I stand upon the I battlefield. Am your man. I... I am. There's not a question of can. My will is theirs. I'll do my best. I'll back them up. At the ready. Stand back. Yeah, I will right. ensure that what needs to be done is done. Huh. Hey, you mind? Leave this to me. Stand right then. Let us go to work. <laughs> Leave yeah, it to me. All right. These defenses crippled in short order. This stronghold is ours now. I know things are tough, but we can't afford to lose hope. Here goes. Yeah. Allow me. Any final words? Hardly a problem. This might have been a mistake. I still have a long. Perhaps this will shift the situation in our favor. I don't know how long I can hold out. Here goes. Help me, please. Here goes. My thanks. My turn? My turn. Let's go. Oh, very well. I'll do my best. My turn? Let's take it for ourselves. Is not. You'll have to take things from him. Can't let it end like this. Objective fulfilled. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
a question of can. Here I go. <laughs> 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 Like that's it for us. I can never this. Keep the momentum going. Feast your eyes on the hero of Daphne. By the name of House Daphne, I will not lose. this without a group effort. Serve me. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities.
Let me know if I may be of further service. Well, how'd it go? Any results, a good result. I carry a little of everything here. Hope to see you again soon. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. If I may be of further service. Hunger is the true enemy. The flavor's not really there. Might want to try something different next time. <laughs> you've prepared exactly what I desire to eat. I'm glad that you've been paying attention. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is definitely one of the foods I love. Come back whenever you're hungry.
Time to work you into shape. Behold the fruits of our labor. This will help me break new boundaries. A useful skill. Oh, look at that. Even a mule will eventually reach its destination. This will help everyone out. Time to work you into shape. Another tool in the belt. What a s- Acceptable, I suppose. This power will serve me in the times to come. This better not be one of those weird powers. Even a mule will eventually reach its destination. This will help everyone out. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. I doubt this will change anything. This could work.
proper training, you'll be unstoppable. Hey there, need something? Is this it? See you around. Which battlefield are you headed to? We'll reach the Great Bridge of Murden soon. Houses Phlegathon and Gloucester are defending it, just as we anticipated. But Ladislava has done her job and broken through the enemy line for us. 
I intend to claim a swift victory and return her to us whole. If possible, the members of House Gloucester are to be taken alive. As we discussed previously, killing them will jeopardize Her Majesty's ability to rule effectively. If any enemy commanders appear open to persuasion, try to convince them to surrender. Our goal here is not to utterly annihilate our foes. The fewer casualties, the better. That said, anyone who refuses to submit must be struck down without mercy. I know when to catch and when to kill. I am often being faced with such decisions on the hunt. You, you expect me to make that kind of decision in the heat of battle? You just do what you always do, Bernadetta. If it's all right with you, I'd prefer to focus on the diplomacy part. I'm not much for bloodshed. Then you may leave that part to me. I will happily deal with any soldiers you cannot. It should be a simple enough matter to determine which of our enemies wishes to live and which will choose the way of death. We'd better not misjudge anyone, or else our lives will be the ones in danger. Then we should fight first and ask questions later. When in doubt, take them out, am I right? We can sweat the small stuff when the battle's over. Until then, I'll do what I do best. I believe we should all do what we do best. If we do, I feel confident we will emerge on top when the dust settles. Victory is the most important thing, so leave the vanguard to me. Then, if everyone is prepared, let us show them the might of the Empire!
Now you'll see.
They certainly are. Begin. I will help. There is not a question of can. My will is theirs. I will gladly. I am here to aid you. So I'll be fooling around with these. Defensive. Foster must be located. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. It's Bernie's time to shine. On the far bank. Vladislava is holding the central checkpoint. We'll mount our attack from there. The checkpoint is our key to taking the Great Bridge. Without it, we have not even a slim hope of victory. Her Majesty is counting on me, and I will not let her down. They have her surrounded. It's time for a rescue! If we rush in heedlessly, we'll be trapped along with her. We must secure the route as we go. Never hurts to have a safe place to retreat to. I'd rather be attacking than defending. I still find this whole affair to be very annoying. I'm bringing it down. You got my back? to recognize a trick when the enemy is being suspiciously quiet not a problem In the West. Here goes. Perhaps it... Do as what? urgent as it you is to retake the check I believe the West I... should be done it's Bernie's time to shine Watch this! Come with me! We're almost to the checkpoint. Here I go. No mistakes. They must keep going. Take a breather. Here goes! Not so fast. If you want through, you've got to open those purses and pay the toll. Of all the irritating Already? places to lay an ambush. This man is a mercenary. Perhaps offering a reward will allow us to avoid a fight. down on their central forces. Here I go. No mistakes. They must. I'll take over. We should have sent soldiers west to deal with it. I'll take over. Are you sure? <laughs> Looks like you'll be my first real challenge in ages. Now let's dance! Still, I 
was a brilliant salvo. Our enemy clearly possesses a gifted officer among their ranks. Gifted? Wait, are you talking about me? I chose to be here, and I'm going to fight the Empire to the end! Just so you know, I got no interest in dying. Arrows are raining down on Ladislava. We have to stop them at the source. I'd rather be attacking than defending. I still find this whole affair to be very annoying. Stronghold will fall! You have to be strong to survive, I guess. <clears throat> then just surrender. Besides, you're a clever man. It's Bernie's time to sh- Sure hope this goes okay. Here I go. No mistakes. I'll provide. And I'll take you. You know the Empire won't let someone as strong as you rot in the cell. Look at you, little boy. My thanks. Mind taking it from here? That was not. I stand down now. I'll never be able to face the others again. How do you know unless you keep living? I mean, things like this tend to have a way of working themselves out, you know? I guess so, but... All right. I surrender. Not a problem. I'll take over. The arrows have stopped. Let us proceed. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Not a problem. I've Already? Rest, Ladislava. This is a great achievement. You honor me, Your Majesty. May victory be yours this. this day. Now we can fight on even footing. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Not a problem. I've got this. Those are my lands at the other end of this bridge, and you lot are not welcome. <laughs> now there is a fool, even by a lion. It's Bernie's time to shine! Here I go. I'll stand my turn. Here goes. Let us do them a I'm favor up. and introduce him to an early play. Listen up, rogues. You will defend the supplies we stole from the Empire to the death. I can already smell the coin, though, veteran. We have our supplies. I can still fight. We must smite them before they can make their escape. It's Bernie's time to shine! Sure hope this goes home. Here I go. They must learn who they're up against. It's Bernie's time to shine! Sure hope... Watch this! Take a breather. I'm jumping! Take you off! I'm bringing it down! Yeah. Stealing is a thing of great evil. You will be returning once you turn. Not a problem. 
Here goes! Already? In? Yeah. <laughs> well, my life is more valuable than some treasure anyway. Let's make a scene! We'll do it together! I got you now! Taken the great bridge, have they? Not a problem. It's Bernie's time to sure hope this goes okay. Not a problem. I've got this. I'll take over. That makes us I'll the Alliance's over. last defender. I can't afford such setbacks. It's there must be a way to resolve this matter without further bloodshed, Father. Our first priority is to find Count Gloucester. He was on our side once. He'll surrender. There is no telling where the enemy might be lurking. We have no choice but to seize control of the entire bridge. If we had some sort of makeshift bridge, we could reach Count Gloucester without relying on our flying units. Yeah, right! What about the supplies we recovered? We can use those to construct a bridge. I'll take over. This drug. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Leave this one to me. Let's get. Oh, we'll fall. Not today. Yeah, Team Tom! Team Tom! 
problem. Not a problem. I've got this. It's Bernie's time to shine. You need some backup? Leave this one. Looks here goes. Already? I'll take over. <laughs> Is secure. Now we need only capture the enemy commander. Those are Gloucester lands you see beyond me. And I will not suffer one heel of your boots to sully them. <laughs> this stronghold will fall. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. It's Bernie's time to shine. Sure hope this goes okay. Here to help. It's Bernie. You need some backup? Leave this one. Looks like... Uh, enough. Stand down. <laughs> Count Gloucester will soon be in our custody. <laughs> Further resistance can serve no purpose. <laughs> so be it. I am no use to my people if I die here. <laughs> Lawrence, no! <laughs> you monsters! How dare you hurt my skin! <laughs> I got this! Now Gloucester will not concede so easily now that we have damaged his precious heir.
I will not shame my people by surrendering to you without a fight. This stronghold will fall! Please let us take this place down! I need somewhere to hide! Gloucester bows to your will. Victory is ours. But this is merely the first step of our rescue. Right you are. We need to relieve our allies who are embattled on Alliance lands. We won, but this is no time to rest easy. There's a lot more work still to be done. Agreed. We will leave some troops here with the wounded to hold our position. Then take the reconsolidated force north without delay. Sadly, there can be no victory celebration until we have extricated Count Burgleys and the others. Based on our projections, they will run out of provisions at any moment. We can also assume they know we have made it to Gloucester meaning they will be waiting for us. But each hour they wait is another hour their stomachs remain empty. If we peel away House Gloucester's troops, we can create an opening in the enemy ranks. Once that's done, we'll bring an end to Claude's shady scheme. like fighting's all I do these days. I'm getting better, but at what cost? I won't let this stand in the way of my love. to perform mighty deeds. I will take all the strength I can get. I won't let myself stop here.
Interesting. It seems the Empire may not want our heads on pikes after all. That is good news. I was concerned they might be so upset as to seek your execution. But based on their posturing, it seems those fears were groundless. Well, I am an effective lord, if I do say so myself. They must realize taking my life would make it difficult to keep order on my lands. Few lords anywhere in Fodlan are as loved and respected by their people as you, father. Perhaps. But if so, that only makes my misjudgment all the more grave. I never should have let that man cajole me into starting such a needless fight. You say that now because we lost, but would your appraisal not be different in the face of victory? The people would have idolized you for ushering House Gloucester toward even greater prosperity. Questions of what if matter little after you lose a battle, and even less after you have misled your people. The time to judge the right and wrong of things is before, not after. It is for this reason that I have decided to yield command of our house to you. I only pray you might walk us back from the terrible misstep I have made. Besides which, the Empire still views me as a traitor. If I fail to step down now, I will spend the rest of my days wondering when the axe might fall. I... I understand, Father. With all that has happened, it is hard not to see the wisdom in your decision. I will find a way to build a newer, stronger House Gloucester alongside the Empire. And just as it did before, our house will shine brighter than any in Leicester. Your Majesty, Gloucester has yielded his lands and titles to his firstborn son, Lawrence. This new Count Gloucester has expressed a desire to join the Empire. No doubt he wishes to make his loyalty plain by taking a clear stand against House Regan. Well, I see no reason to reject his offer. See that his soldiers are properly integrated. As you wish, Your Majesty. Sometimes I have no idea what goes through your noble heads. How can you possibly trust a house that just plunged a knife into your back? If a merc pulled a stunt like that, they'd either be cast aside or cut down where they stood. I believe it, and I'd like to do the same. But not just anyone can hold Gloucester territory together, and I have no one else to take Lawrence's place. All right. I forgot that only mercs are replaceable. I did not think your feelings would be so easily hurt. Regardless, that's just the way of things in Fodlan. But as I've told you, I intend to change this. The age of deciding our rulers by blood must end. A day will come when anyone can vie for the right to rule, and then we will be free of this wretched system. So stand with me. Help me make it so. Scarlet Blaze. The Triumph of Valor. To rescue Count Burglies, Edelgard seizes the Great Bridge of Murden, forcing Count Gloucester's surrender. With no time to lose, she then presses on, unbowed. But Claude is not one to be caught off guard. He rallies every resource at his disposal, determined to tighten the noose around Burglies' forces and prevent any rescue. So we've lost Gloucester. Unavoidable, perhaps, but it still stings all the same. Fortunately, I haven't been sitting on my hands this whole time. If we smash the Imperial reinforcements and stop them from breaking the siege, Count Burglies will have no choice but to give up. 
We're going to face that challenge, and we're going to face it with the Alliance's latest and greatest, which is why I've asked all of you here. Did you really just say latest and greatest with a straight face? Oh, he said it all right. And while I can't swear we'll have that, we do at least have numbers on our side. Yep! More than half of the old Golden Deer House is here! Some of us may not be quite as great as you say, but... Well, you know best. I'm grateful to each of you for answering the call. It's more than I can say for some of our classmates. Yeah. Ignatz and Lawrence both sided with the enemy. No. About that. It pains me to say this, but how Cerdelia has made its allegiance to the Empire clear. It was against my parents' protests that I came here in the first place. If this battle doesn't unfold the way you're hoping, I may be forced to leave as quickly as I arrive. That's okay, Lysithia. You're not the only one who's here with strings attached. Yes. My adoptive father has also insisted I return home at once, should the tides turn against us. Sounds about right. Three cheers for that good old Alliance solidarity. I'll fight with you to the end, Claude! Uh... Unless it puts Maya in danger. Then I'm out. Look, what matters is that you're all here, and that we settle this war with the next battle. Also, for full disclosure, I may have sort of brought along some extra professional muscle. Come on in. It's good to meet you. I'm the acting captain of Gerald's Mercenaries. Our guest here is fresh off another battle with the Empire on Kingdom soil. From what I gather, remaining in the kingdom was no longer an option. And that's when our paths crossed here in Alliance territory. Oh, hello! I know reliable when I see it, and you are definitely that. I'll do whatever you ask, as long as I'm getting paid. So long as we're allied, I won't fail you. All right, let's begin our council. As you've no doubt heard from our scouts, the path from here to Deirdre will be fraught with difficulties. The Alliance has constructed fortalices and palisades, and laid other traps to slow our progress. In addition, they are plotting ambushes at key positions along the way. Needless to say, we will not be able to avail ourselves of the direct route. But if we try to dance around all their traps, we'll never make it in time. Yes, but this is Count Burglies we're talking about. He could probably stretch his soldiers a few extra days through sheer force of will. I would normally write off such an idea as lunacy. But sadly, it will likely come to that. We have made attempts to smuggle provisions to Count Burglies through holes in the enemy lines. But this has met with little success. They must be so hungry! I know just how that feels. The struggle to get food when all you want to do is hide under your covers. Hello, old friend. I mean, no offense, but if time is truly so short, why do we waste it dithering in council? We should embark on our rescue mission straight away! How did Hubert put it again? We're here to break their siege, not fall prey to one. I agree. A hunter must never be losing sight of their calmness. Well said. Let's not allow Claude to wind us up. So we must take the safe route, but do so as quickly as possible. A best of both worlds situation, I suppose. Understood. Good. 
With that decided, let's move on and discuss our preferred formation. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. 